We fight for Christ-centered children. Ephesians 6, verses 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Parenting is fulfilling, consuming, exciting, and challenging. And it is one of the greatest privileges in life. Ephesians 6 verses 1 to 3 gives instructions for children to obey their parents and for parents to be careful in how they raise their children. Children who learn respect for proper authority will have a better chance at success in life. Children obeying parents is one of those non-negotiable mandates. It should not be unusual to expect children to follow the instructions of their parents. Not only are the parents responsible for bringing the child into the world, but they also have a much better view of what is best for their child. To obey their parents in the Lord means that children should carry out instructions they receive from their parents as if it were God Himself who was directing them. But it also implies that parental instructions should be in line with the will of God. Parents are responsible for instructing their children in line with God's will, while children are expected to obey and honor their parents in the Lord, for this is not only right and proper, but it is also God's will. However, godly input from godly parents is crucial for godly boys and girls. Children are to be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord by parents who honor the Lord who practice respect, who demonstrate love to one another, and to train up their children in the way they should go. That is why parents need to act responsibly towards their children and those who walk in spirit, in truth, in virtue, and love are those who will honor by their own children. Those who bring their sons and daughters up in the discipline and instructions of the Lord will discover themselves to be praised by their children. According to Mark J. Muser, we ought to honor our Father in heaven. When we honor Him, we will do as He said, and when we do all that He said, we will learn to honor our fathers and mothers, regardless of who they are and what they do. For God's Word and will to be fully absorbed by our children, it must happen at home daily. Again, our goal is always Jesus. If you are a parent, your child is a trust given to you by God to raise for Him. Your success as a Christian parent is not measured by your child's achievements, but by your child's heart for God and obedience to Him. Amen? God bless everyone.